actually quite, friend. they're quite, um, they're the kind if they get to know you well. We used to have a zebu here hey, named Daisy and she was like my baby. I'd go in and she'd kiss me on the face and we hugged and everything. She was my baby. I'm sorry, what did you say it was? It's called a zebu. They're basically like cows. They're Asian cows and they have oh. horns. Um, How long so did you work here? I've worked here for, this is my, this, I've just been back for about two months, but I was off for five months before that. I was here for a year and a half. Oh. So I've been around for a while. You seem very knowledgeable. Yes. <laughs> How did you get this job? I was a high school co-op student, so majority of the people working here probably started out as co-op students. So instead of being in class, I got to be here for a semester every day. Nice. Which is, cool, yeah. which is awesome. Beats um, being in class. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And uh, most people, most kids do co-op placements at like restaurants and stuff. But whenever once a month we meet at the school <coughs> for a little meeting, and um, everyone's like, "Oh, you're so lucky to be at the zoo," and a little bit more oh, yeah. exciting. Um, and then I was hired on afterwards. So a lot of people start out that way. And then if I will um, be going to school hopefully for animal biology, but so, I'm not sure. I was like, going to say, do you, are, are you trying to be a so vet? Yeah, that nice. I'd like to be a zoo, like stay in the zoo, so um, just kind of make my way up of my position. It's probably not. <laughs> Am I in your way, Dean? No. Yeah, you're in everybody's way. <laughs> this is like the prettiest little kitty Work. cat. Work. Except for Ryder, of course. And Ryder. <laughs> the third prettiest kitty cat. Oh uh, no. What? what? Mandatory training Sunday, September 6th, 7.30 a.m. Who are you? I only get off at midnight, 7.30 a.m. The wrong side of noon. He doesn't mind being shook. No, no. I she. can like, other than she. picking her up, nothing will really make her wake up when she's <laughs> oh, really? sleepy. Yeah. If I were to pick her up, I'd get some complaints. Although, she is very good with me lately um, because she's very bonded with me. Uh, tigers normally will just bond specifically with certain people, but they'll be social with everyone as long as you do things like this. Um, but other than myself, she hasn't bonded with many people, so, so I like to brag about that. There are a lot like cats in that way. Some breeds of cats only bond with one person exactly. and that's their person. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but th this really helps us because we don't want them to bond to just the trainers because if none of us are here in a few years We have to be able to make sure that Pass we're off. able to yeah. be walked uh, on a leash The owner of this zoo though does live on property so for whenever that kind of thing happens Imagine. We're getting used to other people then he can walk them Living in a zoo <laughs> yeah. Everything is flashing He, he okay. has two sons Dean, do you want to stand here? No, they, I'm good They grew up here which there is you awesome go. Like, I've you seen some other no. kid photos Keep and they're standing like they're this tall and standing at an elephant's leg hugging their elephants and I'm like can you hugging imagine their elephants. Up and being like good morning I'm gonna go visit with my elephants and uh, so we walk all over our adult cats and wolves on leashes here and I know wolves. my favorite story from when Dirk and Kurt were being raised here uh, is when they were taking their their elephants for a little walk in the morning and um, the I guess someone was taking a wolf out for a walk in the distance and they didn't even, the wolf and the elephants weren't even near each other but um, Dirk and Kurt were standing with their elephants and they were around five and seven I think and apparently the um, elephant saw the wolf in the distance and thought it was a threat towards the kids and the elephants didn't charge at the wolves but they, they kind of charged ahead to come off as intimidating and scare the wolf away from the children wow. so that would be pretty cool growing up with these kinds of animals and having them protect you constantly. But it's funny because the wolves will kind of do the same thing as well for them and for other right. animals. So, yeah. yeah. No, no you charge at an elephant. Over there. <laughs> huh? Probably not an elephant, a but other from over there. <laughs> yeah. Like oh, facing me and Adrian this way. I've been taking a video this entire time. Really, Amanda? Of, of you and Adrian and, I and Luna. I have video worthy. I'm doing a video now. I'm doing videos of the two of you. The two cool. little twins with the tiger. What are you doing? A video of me I'm taking a video, video of you? you do videoing us. <laughs> can I let move his head? You can, yes. You're going to try and move her head? Oh. Woo! <laughs> mm, she at least noticed that. <laughs> Hi, Luna! <laughs> You're right in Dean's way. Maybe Dean's right in my way. You ever think about that? <laughs> no. Oh, probably isn't really good. Sorry.
sorry. There. <laughs> Yay! Look at that, Adrian.